You are now listening to the Pelicans Post Game Report. Flash Report. All thanks, Pelicans. You're now tuned to the Pelican Post Game Report. Flash Report chiming in on this one. Big ups to the Pelican flock. Big ups to you guys. Please hit the subscribe button and join the realest show covering the football Pelicans. In this report, got a couple of news articles I want to share with the flock. Uh, dealing with our guys, J.J. Reddit, who hasn't played in several contests. It's quite obviously uh, clear what the Pelicans are attempting to do, keeping J.J. Reddit out of the rotation, ultimately looking to move him to another team very soon. So with that being said, we'll go over a couple of reports that I've received and to just brief the Pell Nation. So hit the subscribe button if you aren't subscribed. Hit the like button and the notification bell as we get going in this report. Now, this was it's coming from Heat Nation. It's saying that he had been in touch with the Pelicans regarding Lonzo Ball and J.J. Reddit. Both of those guys they're talking to and about. So very interesting that's going on. New Orleans Pelicans reported are looking to trade both Reddit and Lonzo Ball as well. A new report lists that the Miami Heat is one of several teams involved in talks for both Ball and Reddit. Now, this is coming by way of Scoop Robinson. Pelicans are currently in touch with the Warriors, Heat, Celtics, Nets, Suns, Magic, Kings, Knicks, Blazers regarding the availability of both Ball and Reddit. That's a lot of teams, man. But that's how it's going. Now, Miami Heat is 7-12 and this season, but it has been without its star Jimmy Butler for several games before returning against Sacramento Kings this past Saturday. Miami looks to be interested in bolstering its roster with either a sharpshooter like Reddit or a playmaker like Ball. The Heat have high expectations this season as last year's trip to the NBA Finals, but it's unclear how much a trade for Reddit, Ball, or both will cost them. Ball is set to be restricted for agent at the end of the season, while Reddit is in the final year of his deal. We'll see just how much this will uh, shake because the Heat are def- desperately looking for a shooter to kind of help them out. Let's go to another report here. And this is coming by way of NBC Sports reporting that the Sixers, Nets, Celtics are focused on the Pelicans, JJ Reddit, in trade. Pelicans are exploring those trade offers. And however, contenders around the league focus more on sharpshooting Reddit with a, a, a tight race, a little separating the top teams in the East. It's no surprise that the 76ers, Celtics, and Nets would have interest. And it sounds like where Reddit wants to go is somewhere along the East Coast. Of course, he's out of Brooklyn, he lives in Brooklyn, and he wants to be somewhere close to home. Now, New Orleans Pelicans is focused on the 76ers, Brooklyn Nets, and Boston Celtics as potential trade destinations for JJ Reddit, according to sources from Reddit, Shams, or Sharania. Now, Reddit, whose family resides in Brooklyn, is believed to have strong preference to return to the Northeast area. No deal is imminent yet, according to sources. Now, according to the reports that are being put out there, that Reddit's camp is trying to put a little bit of public pressure on the franchise and wants to play for more than an actual hot trade rumor from those teams. Reddit, who's 36, has struggled to start the season scoring just eight points per game and shooting a career low 29.9, just 30% from three. However, other teams believe that this is more a situation than it is about age, that on the right team, he would thrive as he did with the Clippers and the Sixers. Teams believe Reddit can field an important role on a contender as a sharpshooter off the bench. Now, making a trade work for any of those teams is more tricky because Reddit's making 13 million a season and in the final year of his, his contract. Now, Boston could put together a trade based around Tristan Thompson, although it is hard to imagine why New Orleans, which plays Steven Adams, big men, would want to add Tristan Thompson. And Boston could also absorb Reddit into a part of the Garden Haywood trade exemption and just send back draft picks. Now, Philadelphia could do a package of role players like Mike Scott as a big part of the salary in that trade if the Sixers had young players and picks that would interest the Pelicans. Brooklyn, which drew most of its tradable players and picks into a mix for Harden would have to structure a deal around Spencer Dinwiddle, who is out for the season and has 12 million player option for the next season, meaning he could just walk as a free agent all season. Now, the Pelicans will want back channel assurances from Dinwiddle before even considering this. Ultimately, the Pelicans will trade Reddick to a team that makes the best offer. It is impossible to, for a trade 
to be made in the next 48 hours because any player traded before February the 2 deadline can be combined with other players in the trade at March deadline. February 6th players signed this summer become eligible to be traded. So Reddit will be traded before the deadline. Where and when is still up in the air. So part of the information to remember is that any player traded before February 2nd's deadline can be combined with other players in the trade at the March deadline on February 6th players signed this summer become eligible to be traded. So, all right, let's talk a little G League news here uh, coming up as the G League is set to kick off coming up on February the 10th. And that's right. The Pelicans do have a G League team uh, in it. They've got the Erie Bay Hawks where they rebranded them the Pelicans. They won't change the name until they are relocated to Alabama, which is the site that the uh, team decided to go with. So they'll eventually become the Alabama Pelicans or they'll rebrand the team, but they will be a the affiliate for the Pelicans where we have developed our talent. And speaking of such, this is the team. This is the roster of the current Bayhawk, Erie Bayhawk team that's uh, playing right there. So as you can see, uh, the Pelicans have 10 players on this roster. Jalen Adams at point guard 6'2 from Connecticut is a returning player. Riley Elkins, who we remember him from Arizona, big guard that could play a lot. It will be interesting to see what he can do. He was with the Pelicans in, in the training camp. So, uh, so was Ike Anugbugu, who's there as well. A big power forward, 6'9", 250 pounds. Jordan Bell, if that name sounds familiar, it should. This is the former... Golden State Warrior and Washington Wizard Jordan Bell, who was released by the Wizards uh, and the Bayhawk Pelicans team picked him up. So Jordan Bell is on our G League team. Tony Carr, who was one of the picks by the last draft picks of Dale Demps era, 6'5 guard from Penn State. He's returning. Good to see what he can do. Uh, Yoli Childs, who's a forward, 6'8, 225 from BYU, is an affiliate player from Washington. Caleb Hamasley is also a 6'6 guard from Liberty, who's a flex player. Marion Taylor, guard 6'5 from LSU, who comes over from Washington as well. And Jared Uthoff, who was with the Pelicans during the training camp, 6'9", 220 from Iowa, who can shoot the ball. And then Just Justin Wright Foreman, who's a guard from Hofstra, is an affiliate player as well. Like I said, the head coach is Ryan Pannoni. Uh, assistant coach is TJ Saint, as you can see the rest of the staff right there. So. February uh, the 10th, the schedule opens up for our affiliate team, and we'll be able to cover that because a lot of the players like Will Magney and guys like that, you could possibly see these guys being circulated to the G League team so they can get minutes when they're not ready. Now, of course, this upcoming, the Pelicans expanded out, and they'll be moving next year to Birmingham and rebranding themselves for the 2022-23 season. Remember, Birmingham's redoing their arena down there to get ready for the Pelicans branding as the Pelicans touch down in the state of Alabama. And that'll do it for this edition of the Pelican Post Game Report. If you're not a subscriber, join the Realist Show covering the New Orleans Pelicans. Hit the like button, hit the notification bell for more reports, recaps, everything that's New Orleans Pelicans. I'm Big Q, uh, chiming out on this one. Peace and go Pels. Subscribe now and stay up to date for all things New Orleans Pelicans.